Farming sometimes creates what's known as a monoculture. This is when you grow one type of plant, like the cash crop corn. The rest are removed and the whole thing is focused on achieving maximum growth. To help with this, they're often grown in rows. This also makes it easier to monitor and mechanize. Paralleled in the analogy is education. How do you think it can be the same? And how is it different? If you continue this system over a longer period of time, it actually begins to alter the plants themselves through selective processing. This is where the traits that you want are chosen again and again, leading to bigger and bigger ears of corn. This process of selection usually develops the plants in one direction, often at the expense of other qualities. Ultimately, this is a really efficient, but often precarious system, or even a slight change in conditions in weather or disease could wipe out the whole crop. What might the analogy be suggesting about education in this context? This picture is incomplete without looking at what is driving and maintaining this system. The farmer whose work is going to be measured by the yield, but it's the value that will be determined relative to the price and production of corn globally. Does that sound familiar? The next force in this system is the businessman. How do you think he drives it? Are they both responsible? Is it equal? An often overlooked difference between these two relates to costs. An example of that is who will suffer the most if the land is damaged? This will be an even bigger question as climate change disproportionately affects people at particular ends of the spectrum of race, livelihood and opportunity. Ecologists have informed us for a long time about what makes systems sustainable. They are the ones that have a diversity of species that interact and support one another. I wanted to learn more about how a system could do that. So I studied for my masters and I spent time in a rural farm in Costa Rica. There and in my reading, I learned about farming that was regenerative rather than extractive. Like no-till, hugel culture and permaculture, these styles focus on investing and building up the soil as the starting point for the whole system health. That's why I think that education for sustainability needs to go against the grain and remodel our systems. But what do you think?